Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Tin Can. So, Scarlet's been doing a little bit of homework. So, school's in session to get the ball rolling. We were sort of fumbling around trying to understand how the cooling system, the atomic pile specifically works. And this is all technology that's not within my wheelhouse. Now, I've done my time in the military engineering sort of industry. But, um, I mean, if, if, I, if anything were to be my speciality, it was mostly like system maintenance and uh, HVAC and that sort of stuff. So things like atomic piles and nuclear power, not in my wheelhouse and not really something that um, I think a lot of people will be across. So I've done a bit of Googling and I'll just bring you up to speed real quickly. Um, from what I understand, an atomic pile, you can Wikipedia it, people say, oh, it, it's called a nuclear reactor today which doesn't really line up for me. So just really quickly, some people might understand the real basics of how a nuclear reactor, I'm not going into it too much, but essentially there's an isotope reaction at the core of it. This generates heat, but in pretty much conventional nuclear plants, anything that uses a nuclear reaction pretty much in, at least in the sort of layman understanding, in my understanding, basically uses that heat generated to go through a steam turbine system, right? It creates a state chain through uh, water and steam, releases energy, and that's actually, it goes through a turbine, that's where you generate your actual electricity. That's the conversion from the isotope into electricity. So that's why I look at this atomic pile and I'm really bloody confused, because that's the only concept I truly know. So I looked into it, uh, it would seem that using a radioisotope for a fission reaction in sort of, um, in space things like this, in space application, is, uh, is fairly common. And the missing ingredient is the concept of a thermoelectric effect through a thermocouple, which basically has two sides, like essentially a hot side and a cold side. And as you apply heat, it, uh, it measures the change from one side to the other, and that actually generates a voltage. Now, look, this is just my sort of cursory looking. I'm no expert, but this is me figuring it all out. And this makes much more sense. So it's probably much more in line that there's a thermocouple effect going on here, and that's what's generating the power. Now, I know I have some people that follow the channel that are like Kerbal people and all that, and they, this is probably all old hat to them, but this is news to me. The reason this is relevant is because we were trying to figure out the, uh, the nitrogen cooling system. Is that cooling the temperature of the cabin? Is that cooling the pile? Chances are it's just part of cooling the pile and all the temperature in the cabin is a straight side effect of the heating of the isotope and whether it's being regulated or not. So interestingly enough, I wonder what would happen if we ran into a situation where the cabin was getting too hot because you can't cool it without trying to cool the actual isotopic sort of reaction in the pile. Anyway, like I said, I'm not trying to be some expert or anything like that, but that's me, a dickhead, figuring it out. And maybe you, fellow dickheads, fellow squareheads, maybe that helps as well. So. We're going to go in, we're going to give Hardcore another go. And, um... I guess the, the point of all of that preamble was to say, this is just a straight isotope breakdown that's throttled essentially by a cooling system, which would be the nitrogen cooling, and that's it. Byproduct heat that emanates from it is all the heat we're going to get to heat the cabin. Um, and it uses said heat not in a turbine exchange, but in a, a thermocouple exchange, which, you know, I didn't really know anything about thermocouples or anything. Not at least as a sort of a power generation. I think you can use it to measure temperature change in general. Like, I think that's actually where you would use thermocouples more con uh, contemporaneously, I suppose. Um, come on, game. Load my can. Have you frozen? Don't do that. I'm not doing my rant again. That intro sticks forever. <gasps> Here we go. Okay, we're good. All right. All right. Yeah, so let's look straight at the cooling system here. See now... Wait, what happened there? Oh, I crouched by accident? I don't think I even pressed anything then. So here we go. Look, this, this CRT monitor is giving us a temperature readout. Collision alert. Right. And essentially, this is our cooling system here with the nitrogen bottle. Now, we pulled the pump out at one point. And, uh, and that sort of just lets the temperature fly. So, if anything, this temperature serves as a measure of the power generation as well. In fact... Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. If we actually were to pull the pump out and then go check the ammeter... No, it won't be the ammeter, it'll be the power generation. 
the atomic pile temperature should start flying up. Oh, fucking hell. Might actually have to deal with these problems. Hang on. Anyway, uh, uh, it takes a while to, to change is one of the things they sort of said as well. You're not going to tell me what the error is? Well, that's not working at all. Hang on, so what's going on here? Well, this is just the repair station. I don't care. Turn that off. I don't understand what's going on there. Error list. Well, we're getting a straight error list, right? So... Uh, like, it's not reading the error list at all, right? So I have to wonder, if I turn that off... Data connector. Stuff this. Let's pull it out. Can I pull the data connector out? I can. What about if I pinch it out of this? I mean, having said that, there's no guarantee that any data connector inside this machine is working. All right, well, there you go. The data connector was faulty and on battery. On battery means we're having a power connection problem, I guess. Oh, no, hang on. That was on battery just because it was coming back on. I've seen that flick up before. Like, it doesn't get power flow immediately. 0 0.6. 0 0.5. That seems reasonable. That CO2 thing's actually fairly full. So, it's in my right hand. I should have got rid of this while I was there. My bad. All right, so that should work. What is going on here? Uh, we've got some errors there. Bad data connection. Um, well, now we've got a real problem because that's our repair system and we know that it's got a dodgy bloody data connector. If I were to turn that back on. Okay, hang on. So let's pull out the emergency lights. We'll turn them off. We're getting we're straight into it this time, team. How rad is this? All right, there's got to be a data connector in here, right? Oh wait, no, there should there won't be because there's there's no uh, data output, is there? Oh shit. Okay, where are we gonna steal a data connector from? Uh, you know what? We might actually. All right, we're gonna pull it out of this. How's the bottle looking on that? That's empty, so we're gonna fix the bottle. We're gonna fix what we know we can on this, right? Even without the data feed, I should be able to pass. What's this? Pod, is that pressure? Pod pressure too low? No, no, we're good. Now, breathability is fine as well. So we're okay. This seems to be working fine. If anything, it's scrubbing over time. So what we're actually going to do is, funnily enough, we're going to turn this off. I'm going to pull the data connector out of this. I'm going to swap it. God damn it. Into that. All right. I'm going to power that back up. We're actually going to close that. We're going to open that. We're going to put this data connector in here. Well, we want to repair that data connector. We want to repair the data connector. Required parts. So we don't want to actually put that in there. We want to take something out of here. Um, fuck. We'll take the power connector. Is this turned off? Yeah, we'll take the power connector. I'm going to put that in. Oops. Well, whatever. No repair needed. No, no, but I want to dismantle it. I want to dismantle it. Okay, cool. So we're going to put this power connector back in, even though that won't work, All right? We're going to put this in, close the door, we're going to repair, repair in progress. No repair needed, okay cool, so we've repaired the data connector. Look at me bloody go now, so we can put this data connector back into there, we can boot her back up. On battery, that's fine. So that's going well. Now this, bad data again as well. So we're, we're going to actually do the exact same thing. All our data connectors are failing. Um, open the door. Repair. i got to close the door, silly me. 
How good is this? All right. Microwave's done. Ding. All right, we'll put that back in. We'll boot it back up. We should get a clean error list. Damaged battery and on battery. Um, I'm guessing is there should be a battery component here. Power transformer. Is there really no battery to this? Okay, well, we'll just do a straight repair on the battery then. Turn that off. Pull that out. Oh, we've just got enough. Oh, man. How good is this game? Yes. All right. I hope we haven't got any other errors. No, we're all right. Just the system offline there. Okay, that's fine. Battery's laughing. Pop her back in. Boot her back up. Check the error list. Uh, low battery, but that makes sense. Well, that's interesting, actually. By repairing it, we lost all its charge. We'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, how's the ammeter and the pole going? That's fine, so that should just charge over time. Um, I wonder if it will charge while we have it turned off. Oh, hang on. We've got a we've got a battery fast charger. We might take advantage of that. If I pull the battery out and turn this system on, will it run without a battery? Okay, it will. So that's good. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. Let's see what sort of draw. Yeah, look at that. It shit itself. You can see the ammeter goes through the roof. The pile wants that to happen. Hang on. So what if? What if? Let's just pull this pump out. Let the pile go, you know? Let it overproduce. There you can see, okay, you can see the atomic temperature going up really slowly. And there's our ammeter going up as well. Yeah, so by pulling this pump out, we're letting the bloody pile run, run loose essentially. All right, so the battery's fully charged now. Oh, that's interesting. It's doing that because there's no battery in the machine, I think. If I put this back, right? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If I pull the battery out... It's gone back down. Have a look at where it's at there. The pile's overproducing. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Let's just cycle it anyway, just in case. On battery. That's fine. Okay, now what's going on here? Oh, that's a heating warning because we let the we let the pile run. That's fine because it should be normalizing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This error is going to go away in a second. Oh, oh, so good. All right, hang on. So there are our main lights. I think we're doing all right. Let's just see the master sort of error list. Everything's on. We're not getting any sort of errors or anything like that. Dirty filter, full can, low pump. All right, let's just turn that off to be safe. All right, we drop that on the floor and then scrub it. Yeah. Let's, oops, cycle that on. On battery, that's fine. That's interesting. So using the quick charger was uh, put quite a bit of strain on our system. It threw it through the roof. Pot atmosphere, breathabil breathability is low. Why is that? Oh, it's because the CO2 came up. Um, hang on. Oh, shit. Low pump, bad filter. Dirty filter. Uh, one thing at a time. Nitrogen bottle. I mean, we've got liquid nitrogen up there. I don't know where we're going to get more nitrogen from. I don't think that's a thing. All right, let's cycle this off. Uh, oh, I can, clean, I can clean that without taking it out. Interesting. I didn't know that. Hang on. Damaged battery... Low battery, bad filter. Bad... Ah, oh, fuck. Um, alright, hang on, let's, uh... Christ, alright, 
Beware a cold atomic pile. Well, we need to do it now if we're going to do it. Um, fuck this. I'm going to pull. The, I'm going to pull the pump, and we're going to drop it. We're going to let the pile run. Our oxygen's in trouble. Um, we're going to switch that off. We're going to pull the battery. We're going to. We're going to lose power now. Surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What seems to be the problem with this? Empty bottle. Go before we lose gravity. Pod too low oxygen on battery. Oh, that's alright, the battery can handle it. What's the status? Alright, the oxygen's coming back up, so that's fine. Meanwhile, this thing's off because I'm fast charging. But we are overdrawing. Pile can't keep up. Shit. Um, what's the pod pressure at? Breathability's good. Pressure's good, so... Oh, there goes our gravity. And uh, it's draining my torch as well. Um, main computer offline. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. We expected as much. The pile's probably going hammer and tongs now. It's holding its temperature up since we pulled that out. We'll check the pile. Yeah, the pile temperature's very low. I think we're doing okay. Oh, hang on. 2 NOA. Not, our nitrogen level's fine. Yeah, our pressure's good. Our breathability's fine. Now, I don't know why you're fucking beeping at me. Main computer offline. Yeah, that's not great, but we've still got life support. We're still okay. We're still okay. Um, this system's what fucking worries me. The... The battery fast charge is not going to do anything in this state. So I'm just going to take that out just to take the strain off the system. Um, let's put that back in. Yeah, okay. Everything's shutting down now. Because of the... Uh, okay, the pile temperature's coming back up. Now, I don't know if that's because we're coming through the nebula or because I've let the bloody pile out for so long. I worry that when we come out and we turn the cooling back on, you know what I mean? Like, it'll, it'll be super hot. It'll be interesting. Might be a good opportunity to charge all our batteries in that, actually, to be perfectly honest. All right, there goes that system. So now we can't actually monitor the pile temperature directly from there. All right, hang on. Turn that off. Alright, so I, um, if I were to turn, it's not like you can turn the reactor off, right? It'll just keep reacting. I can't stop it. I was going to say, so I'm, I'm going to turn, if I flick this, the pile should stop. It should still be hot as buggery, right? It's just not going to, it's not going to convert any of that heat into electricity. Can't seem to get the pile to go up hotter. I'm not sure. I 
What happens if I take the shielding off? Like, that's probably not great, but I'm going to do it. Come on. Come on, heat. Turn that off. I'm going to attempt to turn that back on, see if that makes a difference. Oh, I can't see shit. And I'm dead. Hypothermia. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do another run. What was that? 17 minutes. We had a preamble. We can squeeze another run in. Um, pod temperature, negative 10 degrees. Yeah, look, as I don't know what else I could do other than maybe just jump on that earlier, turn all the systems off, and let the bloody thing run. That's the thing. I can't tell if turning off the power that's involved in the in the reactor, like at the end of the day, the, like a reactor doesn't require power to run. You know what I mean? It is it is an isotopic reaction that is just going. It's just running, as far as I understand, running rampant. Power to that system ultimately should be converting that power into an electronic um uh what is it the thermal thermocouple right so i think if if i immediately turn the generator off and open it up sort of thing it'll just be pure heat that it's making with no system drain we'll see we'll see let's go let's go we'll squeeze another one in but I'm curious, because the ammeter is the draw, right? But it'll probably give us a false bit of feedback, if you think about it, right? Because the ammeter will go, this is what the system wants to draw, even if I've turned off the generator. I don't know. Not sure. I'm going to do it immediately, actually, and see what happens. All right, where's the pile at? It's all steady, right? But if I, t if I, no errors. All right, see, f kilowatts, it's generating. Yeah, so if I were to turn that off, it should generate zero kilowatts, which is to say it should just generate pure fucking heat. All right, of course, I have no gravity. Oh, I'm, I do have gravity, hang on. Oh, the atomic pile shit itself. Temperatures dropped. Um. All right, so apparently you have to turn it on. I'm curious what people have to say. I, I got the impression that this is, you know, like any good nuclear reactor with enough bloody isotope in it, it just runs. But apparently the core temperature, it has to be, this has to be turned on. At least we've gotten to the root of it, you know? On battery, low can. Um, low power trains. Um, bad power trains on battery. So you're on battery because there's a there's a power transformer that that's what that'd be. It. Okay, what's the problem with this? I thought you had a problem. You don't have it anymore. Okay. All right. Well, I need a I need a new power transformer. Um, oh, geez, what happened there? I, there was a hitch in the game. Starter. Emergency lights. They're always the first to go. Power, there's got to be a power transformer in here. Let's grab that. 
Alright. Pop that down. Actually, you know what? We'll put it straight in here. Yeah, on battery only while it's booting up. That error should go away. There we go. Why are you off? Bad fuse. Right, it's tripping the fuse. Okay, we'll turn that off. Um, same thing. Can I just put that in there? Oh, I can't. Okay, that's fine. On battery that's fine that's wait why are you still on battery there everything is good oil's good okay pressure's good all right we're laughing main area too low power um damage battery low battery bad power connector that's the problem there Right. Power connector. Ah, uh, what did we just swap out? Did we actually steal this power connector or not? I don't think we did. Alright, so I'm going to turn this off so I don't electrocute myself this time. Alright, turn that on. Give it a chance to cycle up. That should fix a lot of the problem. Alright, rebooting. Low battery, damaged battery. Um, okay. Where is the battery? There's the battery there. Uh, alright, we're going to... What is this again? Power transformer. We are going to dismantle. should be able to pull the battery without getting electrocuted. Good to know. We're going to repair this. Current part's not enough. Shit. Um, transformer. Oh, is that literally what I just dismantled? Oh, what are the odds? I grabbed the wrong thing out. Uh, fuse. Let's fuck with fuse. Dismantle. 50 parts. Okay, I'll take that. Alright, repair. Repair. Current parts, required parts. Hang on. Did I not dismantle all the parts correctly? Did I do something wrong here? Dismantle. Shit. Can't, hang on, so this isn't dismantling. So we've got a serious issue here. Okay, hang on. So that's not on battery. All right, we need to we need to fix this. So the repair machine's not actually working at all. Can I cycle it? See what's going on. There's no error output for it. Shit. All right, what's going on here? Low can. We can fix that. Low pump, full can. Dirty filter. High CO2 atmosphere. That's fine. That's right, that'll come down. Alright, so this is actually broken. I think is what's going on. Battery's good. Fuse, power connector. Power transformer, data connector. It's not the data connector, it's getting data. Master warning, caution.
Doesn't give us a readout at all, does it? Large battery. Oh shit, I'm getting an error warning here? What for? Bad power trans... Um, transformer. Transformer, transformer. Um, what can we butcher for the moment? Maybe the main lights? We need to fix that. Um, transformer. That's laughing. Empty bottle. Uh, pod too low. That's fine. All right, I've got to think about this. I need to. I need to fix this. I need to. It's not the fuse, it's not tripping, it's not the power... It might be the power transformer. I just pulled a bloody transformer out. And this thing's definitely not working. Required parts, current parts. So if I go to repair, all right, it will repair. I'll turn the master caution back on. No repair needed. So we've got a fully functional transformer now. Which I guess we could put back in there, right? Well, we got lights back. Um... Now this system's going to need battery, and that's the thing that's killing me. If I put this in here, it needs 26 parts, we don't have enough, right? So if I do this, fuse, required parts, current parts, dismantle. Oh, you fucking idiot, you got to close the door. Don't tell me that's what I've been doing wrong, really. Nebula, shit! I'm not ready for the nebula. Um. You know what, we just turn the cooling off. It'll be less draw anyway. And we'll open this up because we need to keep an eye on it. Make sure it stays on. Um. I can turn much more systems off, you know? What do we got? I mean, the repair station as well, I guess. Oh, gravity! I can turn off gravity. Um, I mean, it's going off anyway, but I can, I can take the drawer out of the equation, you know?
Look at that. Okay, cool. We're drawing just a little bit under the temperature that it's generating. Pod temperature is safe for the moment. But it is dropping. Oh, now all my parts are floating around. Nitrogen. <clears throat> CO2 levels getting up there. Shit. Um. Main computer offline, that's fine. Not scrubbing. It's full. Okay. Um. Oh, no. no, 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 I dropped it. down we're too cold I don't know how to warm up scrub you bastard Six point six, six point five, six point six. Come on. Temperature manager. Hang on. So it's got a heater in it. There's a heater component. Am I reading this right? Okay, I'm understanding this a bit better. This is uh, a bit strange. I, uh, my little preamble about all the science was a bit over the top, I think. The systems are a little less less complicated. Oh, what got me? Hypoxia. Okay. Too much C CO two or not enough O two. So I think probably I needed to get the O two up as well. Oh, we get there, team. Okay, so essentially that temperature manager is a heater and cooler and all in one, basically. Doesn't, I get, I guess, I guess. I think I was just going a little bit more bare bones and assuming that there was no heating component, it was purely from the atomic reaction. But if we go one step further, it'd be cool if that would work. If I could turn off the heater and turn everything off and the pile itself would generate heat. But instead, the, no, the more that I think about it, it's, it probably works better the way it is because the pile is going to have the thermocouple generating electricity. We're putting the electricity into a heating element that's built into the temperature manager. It's not just a coolant system. So it clearly has some sort of heating element and you would, you would probably get a, what would you say, like a multiplicative effect of the power generated from the pile and the, the sort of latent heat from that reaction as opposed to 
taking that heat, turning it into electricity and putting it through a purpose-built heater, you would probably get a net increase in heat doing it that way as opposed to just having the sort of latent reaction. Mm. It's good. It's good. It's made me think. It's made me Google. Made me so excited. Um, but uh, yeah, okay, cool. So as far as that heating system goes, we just got to make sure that the pile doesn't stop and we got to make sure that the heater doesn't stop or at least in fits and bursts sort of thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it goes both ways. Ah, cool. A lot to think about. Team, I'm glad you guys are enjoying this game. I'm fucking loving it. This is so much fun. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.